There you can see my stabilizer bar and everything like that and the sh shock work can be taken out. I think that's good. Yeah, all right. These are going to be all the tools you guys are going to need. We have our jack stands, wrench, torque wrench, the new shocks, and then a socket set as well. And we use this to take off the lug nuts. Jack stands are a great investment. They're not too expensive. We've got these for like 30 bucks each and I'm using two ton jack stones, which support 4,000 pounds. And I believe the Mustang is about 35, 36 hundred pounds. So we're gonna go ahead and insert top and you want to make sure that the rivets are the inside of the jack and you just lift the lever up there you go now we're gonna go ahead and put these underneath the car on the frame to support the weight of the vehicle just do one side for right now yep so we're gonna go ahead and just continue right, with just do one side. side at a time yeah to properly Since support can't it jack it up from underneath here Awesome, and you've already gone ahead and gotten the wheel off. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. So now, guys, we're going to go ahead and begin to loosen the bolt from the top right there, and that should be a 15. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. All right, so we actually switched it up for the deep socket one just because that one wouldn't reach. Now we're going to go ahead and finally start loosening this bolt. All right, and if yours is able to be loosened, but mine are so stuck on because it is 50,000 miles past the um, standard date of when you should change these shuts and shocks. So we're gonna go ahead and try to loosen from the bottom since the top bolt is a bit stuck. And for the shock on the bottom, uh, I do have a V6, but I do have the upgraded um, exhaust and what that becomes comes the stabilizer link as well. So the bolt you're gonna need is gonna be right here on the back of it. And there should also be a 15 as well. I should go ahead and start loosening this. The Mac Volta Carrera. All right, so we're going ahead and snip the plastic trim just because it is spinning every time to get the bolt loose. And hopefully this will make it a lot easier to get the bolt off from the top. The bottom one was a lot easier to get out. Just need to get the leverage on there and that came out pretty easily. But the top is spinning. And I also need new shock absorbers at some point. Come on, put some muscle in it. Get it. Yeah. Yeah. Pony car going to ride good after some new shocks. First one to test it out. <laughs> Yeah. My bad. Hey. Yeah, look at that, dude. Got how bubbly beat it up, beat up and busted that is on top. Oh, I don't know. Five pounds, five pounds. Yeah, we'll need to get off some way, right? Okay, so this, we're going to have to cut off this and install the new bushings and top mounts. And then we'll be good to go. And then we'll do the same exact process on the other side. Oh. Hopefully this will be a lot easier. There we go. And then it will have to pull it just a little bit to make sure it gets to its full size. And then we'll just compare this against the old one real quick. Just to make sure we extend it all the way out the way we need to. Feels about good. All right, now we'll go ahead and do the new bushings. All right, now we're just gonna go ahead and put it back to the hole and align the bottom. And then I'm gonna come up here, plate, and just hand tighten it for them. Okay. I'm gonna just go ahead and tighten this down just a little bit. Oh. No, no, no. That one on the outside. Oh, the outside? Okay. Yeah. This one, oh my bad. There you go. No one oh, on the outside I thought you there. So I'm gonna have to do that. There's the screw. Should I go get the 15? Huh? Yes. Hey Vince, can you go hand me the tool that's in the trunk? Do we have to raise this up at all? It shouldn't have to. No, it should be fine where it is. Some people have. 
All right, so because we don't have the half inch impact that's deep enough to reach this, we're loosening the sway bar uh, or the stabilizer bar, bar on the stabilizer bar on both sides. Uh, the other side is quite tough to get off, so we're gonna soak that in some WD-40 and then loosen it with the 15 millimeter socket and then hit it with the wrench to get it off, or hit it with the drill to get it off the rest of the way. And these babies are looking good. So good going down the road. The first test drive, the calipers appeared to be smoking. I didn't hear anything or see anything this test drive. You know what? Nah, everything seems fine. Do no smoking or anything. <laughs> oh, it sounds so good though. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. The brake lights look really good. Okay, so. Luckily on that test drive, nothing appeared to be smoking, so that's good. We think that it was just rust and some dirt from the top mount. When we did that bolt, it was very, very rusted and bolted on. So hopefully that has fixed the issue. If you guys have enjoyed this upload, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button if it taught you anything. And make sure you leave a comment down below. What's your build and what you're working on? <laughs>